name of my talk there emphasizes the real 10,000 BC. We have a pretty good sense now that people are in the Americas by 15 to 16,000 years ago. This is a hot point of contention, but my reading of the evidence puts the people there that early. This new research focal area of mine includes two counties in Utah, Cache and Rich County down here, and all are parts of six counties in southeastern Idaho. The Fen Cache is a very well-known cache site, so it's a stash of Clovis points, and I just told you that Clovis is the first universally accepted early culture in North America, taking us back over 11,000 years. Those sites are extremely rare. We have lots of, of, of water of all forms, including big permanent lakes like Bear Lake. There's our lovely Bear Lake Vista and Gray's Lake. We have permanent streams and rivers like the Portneuf and the Bear and the Blackfoot, tributaries thereof. And because much of this is in the Yellowstone hotspot, we also have spring, spring, spring. We have ubiquitous sources of stone of various kinds for the tools that you need if you're living 10 or 11,000 years ago. We have all of these yellow stars representing obsidian sources. You all know that obsidian is volcanic glass. It's extremely sharp, so sharp that it's been used in eye surgery because the wound will heal so much faster than if you use a steel scalpel. And these are ice caves. Some of you have visited them, I'm sure, in northern Utah and southeastern Idaho. They're places where ice is available year-round. It's permanent. So from the point of view of a hunter-gatherer, that's really what that boils down to is you have a refrigerator. That's crazy. Over the course of that one summer with a small team, we documented 57 sites that are older than 8,000 years. We can say that the Paleo-Indian record is really robust and really, really diverse. We can see that all site types are represented in these surface sites. We have the whole Paleo-Indian sequence represented, excellent representation on the early end, and very interesting representation on the late end because we have all those four different regions represented equally. Archaeologically, if I have to sum up, this region is just as amazing as we would have predicted it was and did predict it was based on its ecology alone.